At least most of the time, we don't expect to see dead people or skeletons at tourist destinations. While some areas are visited for human remains, the majority are not. Nonetheless, there are several vacation spots where dead persons or skeletons can be found. Some tourist attractions conceal bodies that visitors may not even be aware of. In other situations, the bones are visible to tourists, who simply pass them by as if they were another relic. Here are 10 tourist destinations that include human remains. Number 10. Mount Everest. Mount Everest is riddled with dead bodies. In reality, the north side has been informally called Rainbow Ridge, after the colors of the clothing and equipment of the numerous visitors and Sherpa guides who have died there. The total number of bodies on Everest is unknown. However, it was estimated in 2015 to be more than 200. Suwang Palger is a well-known corpse. Since his death in a blizzard in 1996, his body has stayed on Everest. Palger was given the nickname Green Boots because he wore green boots. He is so well known that the nook where he died is known as Green Boots Cave. Climbers descending from Everest frequently stop at the enclave for a respite because of the cost and dangers involved with collecting them. Bodies are frequently left on Everest. A body must be retrieved from Everest by six to eight Sherpa guides. Because the bodies are frozen, they are always heavy, sometimes up to twice the victim's weight when alive. Sherpas are frequently required to excavate around the body and transport it with the ice. Thousands of dollars are spent on retrievals. Number 9. Yellow River. The remains of persons who committed suicide, drowned while swimming, or were killed and thrown in China's Yellow River are always there. Because the government is uninterested in rescuing the dead, inventive business people such as Wai Xinping are forced to retrieve the cadavers for a fee. Xinping has observed a footbridge where bodies that end up in the river are not permitted to pass. He paddles his boat to the footbridge and pulls out any corpses he discovers. He keeps the dead in a cove and then places newspaper advertisements describing them. Families pay a nominal price to determine whether or not the body belongs to a relative. When it occurs, they spend an additional $500 to remove the remnants. In 2010, Xinping claimed to have discovered 500 bodies in seven years. We're curious how many more he's discovered after 12 years. Number 8. Catacombs of Paris The City Council of Paris discovered in the 18th century that they were running out of cemetery space. As a result, they resolved to convert the quarries beneath Paris into a catacomb and fill it with the bones of almost 6 million persons buried in cemeteries dispersed throughout the city. Initially, whoever transported the skulls and bones into the catacombs simply threw them in. Workers, on the other hand, began to arrange the skulls and bones aesthetically. Many guests never get to witness the millions of bones and skulls that lie along the tour's 2 kilometers, 1.2 miles, of tunnels. The tunnels are accessible through a staircase that leads deeper into the catacombs. Another stairway goes to the top levels of the catacombs at the end of the tour. At the end of the trek, tourists are believed to be covered in bone dust. Number 7. Museum of London The Museum of London houses approximately 20,000 bones in a subterranean vault. The vault has concrete walls and is hidden from tourists. It is known as the Center for Human Bioarchaeology, and it is said to house the world's largest single collection of stratified human remains in one place. The skeletons belong to persons who died during the time the Romans ruled Britain and the 19th century. They are kept in cardboard boxes labeled human skeleton or human newborn skeleton, as the case may be. The bodies are kept at the museum to study London's history. For example, historians know through examining skeletons that people in the Middle Ages had better teeth than people in the Age of Discovery. Because they ate a lot of sweets, the latter developed poor teeth. Number 6. Rupkund Lake the skeletons of Rupkund Lake in Uttarakhand, India, are well recognized. The lake is frequently covered in ice. When the ice melts, as it frequently does, travelers are treated to the chilling sight of nearly 200 human skeletons scattered around its edge. The skeletons were discovered in 1942, during World War II. The skeletons have dents in their skulls and shoulders, indicating that they were hit from above. The British initially assumed they were the bodies of Japanese soldiers who had attempted to enter India illegally. They eventually discovered that the skeletons were far too old to be Japanese. In 2004, historians returned to the lake and established that the bones belonged to two groups of persons killed by hailstones about the year 850. The first was a family or tribe, while the second was either their porters or guides. The group was walking across the region when they encountered a hailstorm. They had nowhere to shelter and died after being repeatedly hit by cricket ball-sized hailstones. Number 5. Pompeii. On August 24, AD 79, Mount Vesuvius exploded about midday. 
the explosion spewed heated ash into the air and landed on Pompeii and Herculaneum. Ash fell on individuals and buildings, obstructing doorways and causing roofs to collapse. It also clogged the roadways, making it even more difficult for people to flee. While thousands risked the ash and fled, thousands more remained at home, cowering in dread and covering their heads with pillows. Whoever escaped the falling ash and collapsing roofs died the next morning when a pyroclastic flow poured down the mountain's flanks. Pompeii was forgotten until 1738, when it was once again found. Excavators began digging and quickly discovered that the skeletons of those killed in the AD 79 eruption were surrounded by empty spaces in the shape of their bodies. As a result, they began pouring plaster of Paris into the crevices between the skeletons. We now have hundreds of castings of persons who were killed during the historic eruption. There are also glued pig and dog remains. The casts clearly represent the people's and animals' faces and features as they were at the time of death. As of 2015, over 1150 bodies had been excavated from Pompeii. Historians assume that about 2,000 people died in Pompeii. Given that just three quarters of Pompeii have been excavated, there are likely additional skeletons underground. Number 4. Sac Uaim. A cenote is a water-filled sinkhole. It is formed when the weak limestone ground falls, exposing the cavern beneath. Cenotes are popular tourist destinations on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. The Sac Uaim cenote, on the other hand, stands out because it includes the remains of deceased people and animals. Sac Uaim was feared by the ancient Maya and is still feared by the inhabitants, who have a lot of folklore warning people not to enter the cenote. In 2013, a group of archaeologists led by Bradley Russell defied the rumored risks and chose to study the cenote. They realized it was packed with human and cow skulls and bones. They discovered 15 skulls and believe there are more. Some of the skulls are flattened, indicating they were made by the Mayans. While they assumed the cows fell into the hole, they were unable to determine how the humans ended there in the cenote. Archaeologists believe the cenote was never utilized as a cemetery and that the individuals were never sacrificed. They believe the people were temporarily buried there because the Mayans believed in reincarnation. Alternatively, these could have been plague victims who were dumped there to avoid infecting the living. Number 3. The Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China, which stretches over 21,000 kilometers, 13,000 miles, was undoubtedly the most popular construction created in ancient China. It was constructed by several rulers, beginning with Qin Shi Huang in 221 BC. However, the majority of the wall that exists today was built during the Ming Dynasty, 1368 to 1644. Convicts and soldiers made up the majority of the workforce at the time. Emperor Qin Shi Huang directed the wall's construction. It is estimated that 400,000 construction workers died during the period. The majority of the dead are thought to be buried within the wall. Number 2. Sedlak Ossuary. The Sedlak Ossuary, called the Bone Church, in the Czech Republic is home to between 40,000 and 70,000 skeletons. The bones are not concealed, but rather shown in public, where they have been transformed into artworks. Pyramids, candle holders, and a chandelier formed of human skulls and bones can be found. The ossuary's history began in the 13th century when a monk brought some soil back after a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. He flung soil all over the Sedlik Cemetery. Everyone in the Czech Republic and surrounding kingdoms soon desired to be buried at Sedlik. Before the cemetery ran out of space, almost 30,000 people were buried there. The city agreed to relocate the bodies to a crypt in order for newer bodies to be buried in the cemetery. The Sedlik Ossuary is that crypt. In 1870, a woodcarver named František Rint utilized the skeletons to generate drawings, which he then converted into artworks. He designed the well-known chandelier. He also bleached all of the bones to make them all the same hue. Number 1. Tower of London on April 9, 1483, King Edward Ivy of England died. His son, Edward, succeeded him and was proclaimed King Edward V. However, because Edward V was only 13 years old, his uncle, Richard, Duke of Gloucester, was appointed as guardian. A protector was someone who reigned until the monarch reached the age of majority. Richard, Duke of Gloucester, became greedy and determined to become king. In the Tower of London, he imprisoned Edward V and his 10-year-old brother, Richard, Duke of York. Then he stated that because Edward V was an illegitimate son of Edward I V, he could not become king. Richard, Duke of Gloucester, was anointed King Richard I.I. in July 1483. 
Meanwhile, Edward V. and Richard, Duke of York, vanished without a trace. Many people believe Richard II murdered them. Over the years, several bodies have been discovered at the Tower of London. The skeletons of two infants were discovered on a table in a walled-off room between 1603 and 1614, or possibly 1647, according to certain reports. The skeletons were initially considered to belong to the brothers, but this was quickly dispelled by assertions that they belonged to children aged 6 to 8. In 1619, another body was discovered. It was supposed to be one of the brothers until it was discovered to be an ape's body. In 1674, two more skeletons were discovered beneath a staircase. When the moat surrounding the tower was drained between 1830 and 1840, more skeletons were discovered. Another body was discovered in 1977. Carbon dating, however, proved that it was from the Iron Age. The Royal Brothers skeletons are still missing. Did you enjoy this video? If so, check out these other videos from Daily Top 10. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon to be notified of future uploads. Thanks for watching.